Jesse, in some ways, does that rather sum up your whole season? Good attacking football, creating chances, but ultimately nothing to show. Yes and no. Um, I think we displayed that we were the better team tonight. Um, but more importantly for me, it's the best complete performance we've had as a team. Um, and obviously it's frustrating given the fact that points are at a premium right now and you look at the table and there's stress in that situation. But if we can play like this, uh, then I think we have really something to build on. And so I've been edging and pushing the players to grasp more and more and, uh, and to commit to the way we want to play, to be brave in the ways that we want to play. Um, and I thought we did that uh, to our best ability tonight. And, and I think we have uh, really a, a positive performance and something to build on. How frustrating was it to concede when you did from a situation that started with your own corner? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, first of all, it was a dangerous moment. Maybe Mark Roca gets on the end of it and we go one nil the other way, but they, they uh, catch us on the counter. I thought we could have done better to defend that situation, but um, we went down one nil. But I thought we had a bright start even in the, before the, the first goal. And then we continued to push and the first half was outstanding. Um, you know, and the second second goal kills us and, and makes the game even harder. But our guys kept pushing, and, and honestly, maybe if it goes in a few more minutes, maybe we find a way to get, get the equalizer. I think that's a point in it. When Patrick Bamford got it back to 2-1, did you feel that perhaps as a team there might be more you could have done when Villa, Villa then were looking a bit vulnerable? Yeah, of course, but we're we're good late in late in matches. We, we, we always push hard and show belief and, and commitment. So... But again, I want to just talk about the performance itself and, and talk about the fact that that was intensive football, the way we want to play against the ball, with the ball. We were also dangerous on set pieces. Uh, for me, really unlucky to not come away with more. And, and again, if we play like that more often, we will get more points. Will that be your message to them? And is that what at the same time keeps you positive in the situation you're in? Yeah. Listen, the, the, there's so much to play. We're not even halfway through the season. Like, you know, uh, there's no panic. It's just really trying to kickstart the way that we want to play. And, and if we can do that, then we have enough quality and we, and we have enough uh, intelligence to, to achieve our goals. So, again, this was a, a big positive for me. I would take more losses and good performances because it could help then really push us forward to be the team we want to be. So, again, a positive, big positive. Just to finish, we understand that Jorginho Rutter is close to signing for you. Can you update us on that at all? No, I won't, I won't discuss that. We'll have, we'll have enough announcements in the upcoming days. But generally speaking, just how important at this point will recruitment be now? Yeah, I think so. But also getting Luis Sinistera back will be, will be important for us and, and you know, getting, keeping ourselves healthy. We have a, we're really excited about our cup match against Cardiff at home. Um, you know, and, and then we'll, we'll have to get ready for Brentford and then the next match and the next week, and that's what this is. It's, it's about uh, standing strong and facing difficulty and being ready to be at our best. So we did that. We did that tonight, and we were unlucky not to come away with more.